it's like you're coming of age. You yeah. Know, like if you could flip flip the rice properly, oh, you can have a boyfriend now. You know, yeah. like that was always my thing with my grandmother. Like, come watch what me age flip rice. <laughs> I'm not telling yeah. you, you. Mm. That's for another segment. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here with Anna Med, and what do we have here? Before you can really cook anything, the most important ingredient in Laotian food or Laotian culture mm -hmm. is rice. And so we, I have sticky rice soaking because I know you were coming over. So you have to soak it first, so you have to hydrate it. That's the difference between sticky rice and all the other rice that we're mm -hmm. used to. You know, in my household, it's part of our meal mm -hmm. three times a day. So that's a lot of sticky rice to go through. Yeah. For our family, we eat, you know, both regular rice and sticky rice. Why do you prefer sticky rice? One of the reasons why we have it in our household was, you know, my grandmother would make it first thing in the morning and throughout mm -hmm. the day, like, you know, after school, it's ready to go for us. Being something that I grew up with, it's just, mm -hmm. it's a no-brainer for me. It's yeah. just part of who I am. Our family left Laos when I was two. Mm -hmm. Cooking has always been something that was like a common thread for, for mm -hmm. all of us. My first lessons with my grandmother was rinsing the rice. We look like we're hungry, right? We can eat all this. And then kind of feeling it and touching mm -hmm. it and realize how important it is to not waste a single grain. Mm -hmm. Because she always taught me the lessons of like, you know, do you know how hard it is for the farmers to get the single grain of yeah. rice? I think to me that was like the foundation of my life in the kitchen with mm -hmm. my grandmother and mm -hmm. really for her to show me and teach me these things that I yeah. didn't have the opportunity of growing up yeah. in our home country, but she was able to bring these lessons here and still implement it. It takes a good maybe 20, 25 minutes mm -hmm. to cook sticky rice. It's cooking from top to bottom. Mm -hmm. So at the midpoint, you're gonna mm -hmm. wanna flip it. It's making sure that everybody that you serve the rice to mm -hmm. is gonna get this nice, soft sticky rice. So one of the tricks of flipping rice is you gotta like press it down a little to loosen the bottom. So you kind of like shimmy it towards you and then you... Get higher, higher. You can do it. No, this is our lunch. I don't want it on the floor. So once your rice is done, you want to kind of like put it out on a flat surface. You can see it's like it's one big giant ball here. So by releasing the steam from the rice, when it's kept in the bamboo basket there, it'll be evenly distributed in terms of temperature and heat. Just kind of move it around to let, like, So you yes. aerate it, yeah, yep. a little bit. To release some of the steam. And so usually um, you divide it up into two so it's easier to handle. And then you could just like put it in there. This will help keep our rice warmer. What you want to do is then you want to grab your sticky rice, make a little ball, mm -hmm. and this becomes your like vessel for, for eating dipping. these yeah. hot sauce. Sometimes I like making a little like almost like a little tortilla with it. And I fold it. So you would just go in it with your hand, yeah. and I'll, we would always like do one like on our left hand would be one big giant ball, mm -hmm. and then we take. <laughs> a little bit from on the other side. Mm -hmm. So you have this ready to go and then you just go into it and you just dip it and you have like a wad on here. Mm -hmm. mm. And this is like Laotian hospitality. Mm -hmm. There's always something that we can offer our guests. Yeah. The sticky rice is always there and you just open up your fridge and yeah. all of this would be ready made. So you could always have a snack with anybody who stops by. Yeah, this is amazing. You left. Laos at such a young age. Does the food help connect you back with your country? Yes, for sure. When I look at this bread, it really reminds me of family. Okay, let's eat. This looks amazing. For us to be in a foreign country, food was what was always something that brought us together. No matter what went on that week, we would always, you know, come back to my grandmother's house looking at this and eating this and kind of like the memories are there but at the same time it's like it's who we are now we're Laotian American so this is like the American take on it but still very much Laotian. Food brings so much memory and for us was definitely the the bond that held us together was through our food.